So hey everyone, welcome to a guide where I'm going to be explaining how graphs and velocity works. Take a look at this basic scale, 150 at the beginning and 100 at the end. It's a simple scale that looks like this. So what we're going to do is open up the graph by clicking on the handle next to the stopwatch, which will bring down the graph editor. Now this is where things will change. I want you to remember the phrase bumps equals intensity. So let's say I wanted it to be faster at the beginning and then gradually slow down over time. A scale that looks something like this on the screen as you can see. And since I said I want it to be fast at the beginning, I need to create a bump near the beginning. That is where the intense parts will be. So what you need to do is click on the next keyframe. So for me, it's the second one. And what I'm going to do is pull this handle all the way to the left. You also want to make sure that you level it. You see how there's this bar on the right side. What you want to do is level it so that the handle is on level with the bar, just like that. Sometimes the bar may be too high or too low without you noticing. So what you need to do is zoom in onto the keyframe, simply head towards the keyframe frame and then pull this handle down here to the right or the left and then you'll be able to see it in more detail so then you can fix it up so just like that as you can see it now looks like a smooth curve so now i've got a scale that looks like this what i can do is reset it so i can put it back to linear and then flip it so instead of starting off very quick and then gradually getting slower over time what i can do is make it speed up as it reaches the end of the clip so what you need to do is do the exact same thing the other way around i'll click my first keyframe and pull this handle towards the right and to level it what you need to do is look at the velocity number right over there as there is no bar to help you out so what you need to do is look at the number and make sure it's near the value of zero so as you can see it says zero so i'm gonna let go however you don't need to have it at exactly zero for example since my value is decreasing so it's going from 150 all the way to 100 i can keep the velocity at zero or below so it could be negative 15 or let's say negative 63 although it's not really recommended the closer it is to zero the better the impact for a decrease value like mine for example you don't want to have it at a positive number so you don't want to at 15 or 31 let's say so something no more than zero if it was increasing let's say from 100 to 150 for example you don't want the handle to be lower you want it to be higher because my values are increasing 100 at the beginning 150 at the end same rule but different way of applying it now what i'm going to do is quickly make my scale out again so right now as you can see it scales in i'm just going to quickly flip it to show you another example so as you can see i'm back at my modified graph. I'm happy with the scale out, but I think it could be a bit faster at the beginning. I wanted to scale out quicker at the beginning, but the issue is I can't move the handle any further. And I did say that bumps equals intensity. So how do I fix this? You simply don't follow that rule anymore. This part is slightly more advanced, but basically you want to get rid of the bump to make it faster or more intense, I think is the word. What I'm going to do is pull this handle where the bump is all the way up. Do you see how it looks more like a curve now? And if I do play it back, you can see the impact is much stronger. Basically what's happening here is the value is dropping quicker than before. Make sure you don't pull it too high because if you do there's going to be a black outline that's going to appear. Something like this as you can see it just looks really horrible and it doesn't really look like a scale out anymore so if that is the case just make sure to pull it down once again and keep it towards the keyframe so if I do pull it right it will happen again. You can see the black outline appears once again as it scales out too much. Pull it too high and it doesn't really look like a scale out. It's not very noticeable and of course this can also be applied the other way around so let's say 100 to 150 instead of pulling it down i'm going to pull it up so then it looks like a curve and you can see it scales in very intensely again same rules different way of applying it i can do it the other way around as well if i wanted to normal keyframes pull it all the way to the left and level it so velocity should be zero no lower than that because my value is increasing so it should be a positive number or zero looks like a nice scale but i want it to be a bit more intense so i'm just going to pull this up and a little towards the right something like that will do and if I play it back you can see how much impact the scale has if I show you a comparison you can see before it wasn't as strong it looked more like this oh and one more thing about the graph so you've already probably figured it out but the bumps are where the most intense parts happen so I can place it anywhere it doesn't have to be towards the edge of the keyframes it can be towards the middle so in the center like somewhere like there and so it starts off slow becomes quick and then gets slower again you can tighten it up a little bit more if you wanted to as well to get a result that looks something like this and remember Remember that these can be applied across effects, twixter, shakes and pretty much anything else. So remember, bumps equals intensity unless you want to go for a different approach like me. Make sure to pay attention to the velocity when leveling on certain keyframes. All the rules I mentioned apply to any graph, just in a different way of course. But yeah, that's how graphs work, so thank you for watching, peace.